your mom like you you don't really exist in this realm see they like to th they like you to think that there's a baby inside of them when in fact they're just they're inflating because of the hentai they got the sperm shot into them and it made their stomach inflate right that's how it works because they shot so much in there and then it just sits in there and then brews for a while and then the baby the baby happens but in like another like a pocket dimension and then after that the vagina is an interdimensional portal that opens up and the baby comes out but that's why it hurts so much is because an interdimensional portal is opening inside their bodies kids that's how sex works they make condoms that look like cars. Do you think they would call them Volvos? Mm. What if the Volvo is shaped like a car? So hi, we're here at the, uh, the, the look. Look where we made it. It's the, it's Mr. Sword. But we can't pull it yet. Where does the stork happen? Uh, I'm not sure. It, it might be, maybe it's, maybe they're in that dimension. Maybe it's a stork dimension. And they help keep the baby safe. So we can't we can't get we can't get the master sword yet. Um, but we can we can hear in a bit. Oh, the stork hands on the baby through the yeah he he shoves it he he pushes it through probably with his bird hands. Oh hello, Mister Hero. Hey, are you the hero? Could it be? Welcome to Korok Forest. You're much, much cooler looking than I thought you'd be. But to be sure, you're up to the task at hand. I prepared a trial for you. What do you think? Will you accept the trial? Yes. Hooray! Show me a rod with the power of ice, please. You can wave this rod to, to freeze monsters in their tracks. Ice wizard robes love to wreak ha havoc with them. If Mr. Hero were to wield a rod with power of ice, he would be even stronger and cooler. Literally. Is that a trial? It's not a trial. Portes Vulvus. That's its, uh, that's its species name. The vagina. The vagine, as it were. Uh, how do I... Do I just go in one of these tubes and then they'll, like... God, I love the frame right here. It's... It's like a cinematic 10. Or am I leaving right now? Is this... This isn't leaving, is it? It isn't. You! Yeah! Ooh. Alien seeks to attempt the Korok trial. Is that even allowed? Who cares? You here to attempt the Korok trial? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. You really want to try it? I guess it was worth asking after all. Oh, the Koroks are so cute. Let me tell you about the trial. All you need to do is keep going and not get lost in the mist. Easy, right? Yeah. What's wrong? You don't look very excited. But don't worry. I've got a crypt cryptic little hint for you. The, hung the hungry trees will show you the way. Spy their iron to win the day. Didn't I make that sound cool? Think about that as you take on the tribe. There we go. <laughs> Look, the iron in the trees. So we're gonna get, we're, when we beat 
these trials, we are going to get the Master Sword. When we beat two of them. I promise. What makes it a little hard is I can't see the goddamn next iron. Oh, there's one. Oh. So this is like Lost Woods Part 2. The previous Lost Woods was the whole, oh, you have to, you have to make sure that, um, you have to bring out a torch, and then the torch, the, where the embers go on the torch, light the way or whatever. Feed me the aged shield guarded by monsters eternal. My brother will repay you in kind. Maybe the aged shield guarded by monsters eternal. What's that mean? This one? Oh, I guess there were monsters around this, wasn't there? Rude! Oops, how do I how do I how do I use the powers? Okay. Ah! <laughs> yeah, he's, he, he really sent me flying. He smacked me real good. There you go, buddy. <coughs> I'm just caught in his sinuses. He's gonna have a rough time. Sorted my sh my inventory. Well, I don't need a stick, so let's. So there, there's a. Can I swim in this? Okay. Why can't I just swim across the pond? They they act like I need to do this. Please place my chest in my mouth. A shield eater brother stole it from me. Well, for fuck's sake, that's why we need this. I'm just having squabbles. Probably like smack it across the lake, but oh yeah, I, f I forget. I think you can do this. Can't you? Yeah, there we go. What do I need a core leaf for? <laughs> it turns out he was lying, and. He's actually making me steal it for him. <laughs> if it works, it works, yeah. Makes sense. What doesn't make sense to me is why can't you magnet it when you're on top of it and fly up in the air? Besides devs not wanting to exploit that. Oh, what's up there, ads? How goes it? I'm just called you ads. <laughs> IQ 1000. You got the big brain. 
Kansadage. You could, but you need two things for them. Oh shit, you do, don't you? You can do that like, you need like a mine cart and then you need something sitting on top of the mine cart, huh? And then you stand on the thing on top of the mine cart. It's as long as you're not, your feet aren't on the thing that you're lifting up. Isn't that, isn't that the criteria? I think I remember that now. So you put like a mine cart in a mine cart. And then you can like levitate yourself up in the air. Yeah, infinite flight, yeah. I remember seeing that. Man, just thinking of like how you program that to overcome that, that's oof. Look at I'm here now. Kind of looks like there's a face on top of the uh, shrine that's kind of like sticking its tongue out. Like, have have we gone outside? Um, <laughs> kind of. I, I went I go to the store like a couple times a week. I used to go to the store almost every day. But now I go to the store like a couple times a week. So I'm going I'm gonna go on Wednesday. Look, he's like I never realized it looks like that's an eyeball, and then that's an eyeball, and he's got a little tongue sticking out, and he's like mm -hmm. You walk to the store the other day. Yeah. So what about you, Anz? Are you keeping it keeping it safe? That's the only time though I've I've gone to the store. That's about it. I like these little glowy pea pods. Oh, a little cyclops with the spiral cheeks and his tongue sticking out. That's cute, too. Are you ready? Hey, hero guy, I was told you'd be coming. Not that way, though. But do you really think you're ready for the test of wood? Ah, oh, shit. I probably shouldn't have just said the coming part before that. Some say it's the hardest of the Korak trials. But it's not complicated. All you need to do is equip the Korak weapon set and reach the shrine at the back of the area. Are you ready to try it? Sure. All right, go get them. You have to keep the sword, bow, and shield equipped the whole time. If they break or you unequip them, you're out. Huh? Your inventory is full. You make some space for a sword, shield, and bow before you can get started. Your country's still on shutdown. Um, how strict is your shutdown? Because here, our shutdown, our... our Stay at home order is you can still go out for essentials, so you can still go get food. Um, and if your job still involves like keeping society going, like maintenance and medical, um, and stuff like that, they can all go do stuff. Um, you can go to the doctor, you can take your pet to the doctor, to the vet. Um, but like. Everything else besides that is uh, pretty strict. All right, go get him. You have to keep the sword, bow, and shield equipped. Good thing here in Mexico there aren't enough COVID cases. Only some rare atypical pneumonia. Oh, yeah. That's weird. You know what? There's going to be no... There's no COVID tests. There, there's no confirmed COVID if you never do tests to confirm it. That's all you need to do. 
All you have to do is reach the shrine in the back of the area. Off you go. The test of wood. Well, your favorite place is shut down. Yeah, that sucks. That's that's the worst part of it all. Especially because like you don't know if those businesses can survive and stuff too. Um. So most of the places that I went to though were like. Perfect. I'm fine. There we go. What the fuck? What's happening? Oh, hi. Bye. Ah! Oh. Ah, oh, sounds like a joke, but it's really what's happening. Oh, that's that's terrible. <laughs> Gotta remember my favorite method. The bomb. People, people are wondering if China's numbers are uh, fully accurate because. Uh, No, that's not what I- okay. Because... They're basing it off of, like, people buying urns and shit. Or people picking up the urns of their loved ones, and there's, like, 500... No, Link, Link. Link. There's, like, 500 urns, at least, being... Uh, I went too far. I should've jumped on the tree. Oh my, here, guy, did you get lost in the mist? I'll never give up. Yeah, so they think China's underreporting a lot, but. It's very hard to tell unless there's some sort of investigation. There's definitely been reports, though, confirmed reports of like there was a dead body and an independent person tested the dead body and found that there was COVID. And they died of COVID, basically, but they didn't report that that person had COVID. So... It's just, man, it's a big mess. This tree, but I'll climb on this tree. Oh, was it that tree? For fuck's sake, I have to climb on the inside of that. It, otherwise, I have to use the the I, ice shit to make these pillars, which means I have to fight things. You know, I don't want to fight things. This is master mode. This isn't about fighting things. It's about running away from everything. Killed something. The bats are pretty dang cute. 
I think they're cute besides their Cyclop eye. I'm not a big fan of Cyclop eye. What? What? <laughs> no! For fuck's sake. Fucking. Fucking. Kill a bitch. That one that can snipe me from there is insane. I never give up. There's that interspecies uh, reviewer show that they like have a Cyclops girl on there and she's cute except for her gigantic fucking Cyclops eye. I hate it. <laughs> Not a, not a fan of Cyclopses. There's too much eye. I'm afraid I'm gonna poke it when I'm having sex with them. I have a hard enough time doing any of that stuff. Having sex? How, how do you even do that? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna jump. You fucking dare you miss you misty piece of shit. Okay, th this is okay. I'm pr I'm currently protected. There's a cyclops from monster news in me. Is she cute? I haven't seen her. Loud. Whoop. Oh, the log. Oh, the log. Oh, the log. I wonder why they make it in anime. What do you, wait, what do you mean, Anz? She's a sniper. Oh, you know, that makes sense. Which anime are we talking about? The, uh, the, uh, Anne's, the monster. Musume or... No, don't... So how I first completed that trial when I was first playing that game was I tried to kill everything. Oh, you don't see the... Oh. Um, I thought there was like a manga of Inter... But you, there's like... It's way less lewd. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. They 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 really want to they really want to push it to the limit, but the thing is because it's so lewd, um, it got media attention. She has bad depth perception of you, which also makes sense. Yeah, that's that's kind of she's missing one of the prerequisites of depth depth perception: two eyes, a diclops. A biclops, a dual clops. All right. It's time. And if this doesn't do it, then I just go respect. Oh, I'm good. 
But they 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 have a they have a statue here, right? Uh, a prey statue. They're so cute. There's their prey statue. Heart, please. I really want to see the uh, interspecies reviewer, though. That's my kind of deal. Sex stuff? Hell yeah. It's, 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 it's Mr. Hero. Yay, Mr. Hero came to visit us in the forest. What took you so long? <laughs> Peaks th thought of a trial that will make Mr. Hero stronger. You won't have to fight, and it's not scary. But you'll need to be extra careful, so I want to see a bloopy. It's a blue glowy hoppy thing that glows in the dark just about peak size. I just really want to see a bloopy, even if it's just a picture alone. I'll help you out, man. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. You have it already? Yeah, I figured I had to take a bloopy. Boobs, hell yeah! Wait, wait, wait a minute! Is that a real bloopy? Wow, it's even more beautiful than Peaks imagined! Thank you so much, Mr. Hero. Now I'm content. Oh, here's a little thank you get. Peaks didn't forget. Look at his little legs. Oh yeah, Mr. Hero needs rupees sometimes, right? If you desperately need rupees, you should shoot an arrow at a bloopy. Here they drop lots of rupees if you hit them. <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad I got to see something so cool. Peaks is so happy right now. They're so cute. Sexy fantasy girls, that's my kind of genre. Yeah, and, and the whole anime is about reviewing how good it is to have sex with them. And like, they like go into like the depth and like of what fetishes they would have and it's like actually reasonable and stuff. It's not just like Oh well um Like this person just likes it in the butt, because whatever. It's the elf girls really like old ladies. Because they're smart and wise, but they still seem young to the elf people. Uh, well, we're going to eat one of these. Um, look at that, we got some extra hearts. Oh no, it takes regular hearts? Oh. Okay. I thought you could do temporary hearts. Video game. All right, that's fine. We got this. You're just interested in the biological basis. I don't know. Uh, you know, I don't. They do have stuff that's like, I don't know how biology, how much biology, I don't know how much they go into like depth of that, but like they probably put biology in there at some point. I don't know if they go into how they reproduce or anything, but there's like, there's the, um, what do you call them? Uh, the, the things, the, 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 the mythical creature that likes to have sex and they suck your life force out of you. Why can't I think of their name? I just keep thinking of Seducer. Look at this statue. Siren, no. Succubus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. So they they have succu succubies there and 
it's like kind of like a restricted district or whatever because they'll just keep having sex with you until you die so you have to, it's like only for the really like uh i don't know P people seeking a thrill i guess um people have to be like really careful uh so there are some who still pay me homage is it homage or homage bart how me you don't say. You can hear my voice. Now that is a surprise. What were you praying for? A long life? Wealth? Like so many of your kind. Whichever it was, you came to the right place. A dealer in life and power. That was me once. Homage. Oh. Oh, homage. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard those two. I think I like I like homage. Or home age. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She trapped me in this stone statue long, long ago. The villagers here call me the horned statue and don't even bother to wipe away the bird droppings. One would think years upon years of such treatment would have made me and mend my ways. One would think wrongly. I have only been biding my time for the moment someone who can hear me appears. Someone such as you. But I've said enough. Now then, shall we strike a bargain? Then stay that way. No further action on your part is required. <laughs> Slutty spellcasters, home, home mage. <laughs> My touch is as subtle as ever. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. What's wrong then? Have your prayers gone unanswered? Give it back. <laughs> Did you think I'd deceive you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long and profitable relationship. So which will it be? As I may have mentioned once or twice, I'm a dealer in life and power. I can provide a valuable service to you. I take heart containers or stamina vessels from you, and then, for a price, return whichever of the two you like. Give me a heart. A wise choice. Now remain still. You look skeptical. Not to worry. Money and life are all as one to me. Now if you're ready to begin, then first you must sell me either type of essence for 100 rupees. If you want to buy an essence back, the price rises to 120 rupees. Before you cry foul, now that you may choose whichever one I return to you, a heart container or stamina vessel. Everything right? I'm eager to help tamper with your essence anytime you want to return and pray here. Right. So I currently have uh, what, uh, uh, 10 hearts. Yes, please, tamper. I'm currently without any of your essence. Are you in the mood to sell? Yes. Which type of essence? Uh, stamina. I'll gladly pay you 100 rupees for stamina. So it just costs 20 rupees per. Which is fine. I wouldn't object if you wanted to give me more. Yes. Goes right in his bosom. You don't understand what's happening. So basically, so when you uh, getting mastered, oh yeah, you bet. Ori Ori Shnu. <laughs> I tried to say that Japanesely, but it doesn't. You know. Oh hey, how it goes. Um, so when you complete shrines, you get stamina, or you get orbs. You turn in four orbs for. Uh, either a stamina thing or you get 
that's Japanese to it. It's really not. <laughs> when I saw the SH and then N, I was like, oh, I'm I'm making a mistake. <laughs> I fucked up. Um, call me Rish. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'll call you Rish, if I remember. Hopefully I remember. Um, but yeah, so when you get those, I'm now trading, I'm giving him the stamina chunks back, and then I will rebuy them as heart chunks. So he gives me a hundred when I give him the orb, but then when I want the orb back, I have to pay 120. So technically, me exchanging one for the other counts for 20. Because I need 13 hearts currently. And I've lost track of how many I've given him. Then what are you still doing here? Uh, 10. Come tamper with your essence. Uh, yes, please. I have three. Yes, yes, yes. I want one back. Heart. But how goes it there, Rish? How's life? Welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do you do you like yourself a Legend of Zelda? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's basically respecking for like a character, you know, and like an, one of them RPGs. Um So like that's 13, right? I'm I'm not crazy. If you do all the shrines, you end up having I think you're like two hearts if you put it all in the stamina and not all into hearts i think you're missing two hearts from 30 i think you're at like 28 and 30 is two rows too short of max yeah yeah, yeah. so you can respect later in the game but really like there's there's no point you can you can drink potions and shit to uh raise your max hearts and so at that point, it doesn't really matter. Just chilling. Got a del delicious scotch. Nice. I've got my version of scotch. Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Baja Blast. Not sponsored yet. Someone call it PepsiCo, though. You love Zelda as a whole? Yeah, me too. Zelda's great. Too short of me. Uh, including the DLC from... Um, this is your favorite 3D title. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say so. For me, too. Oh yeah, flashback time. Your master uh. will come for you. Until then, you shall rest safely here. Now would you count? Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, princess? The Master Sword. I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role it said, finished. Recharge your Wii batteries. They are low. I or put in new ones. Great strength in your dedication. Great day, Kutri. I ask of you, when he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I... Now then, words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? Ah, oh, she's cute. She is cute. Yes. Just give her a hug. Just run up to her. Give her a big old squeeze. Just give her a squeeze.
just holding the Master Sword takes her heart. She's like, Ugh! How much would that suck if she, like, shoved it in there, but it, like, snapped? She's like, oh god, oh god, oh god. So basically this pedestal heals the Master Sword. I don't remember why it gets rusty. What you just saw happened where you stand 100 years ago. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. She continues to fight, trapped deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle. She's having a spirit fight. Cascades with faith that you will return. She has a smile like the sun. You hit on her? I do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. Oh, You're adorable. It's a good line. It's now trial is sword time, right? No, I'm I'm not gonna do that on master mode. <laughs> I'm not doing the trial of the sword. That blade has a name. It is the master sword. When used against Calamity Ganon or those tainted by his malice, it will become suff suffused with holy light. Is that how you say that word? At such times, the true power of the sword will manifest, but be warned. Do not rely too much on its power. If you wield it without need, its power will be exhausted and it will no longer be of use to you. Should this happen, you must wait for the sword to recover. Or pay 30 tokens. You can buy tokens at the app store. It would be a rash to rely on the sword alone to defeat Ganon. I suggest you free the divine beasts before facing him. We got the master sword. Um, pulling out the Master Sword takes a lot of effort. Yeah, it takes a lot of hearts. Look at this, I have it! Um, quest to forge it better, like Minish Cap or something. Oh man, I, f I need to replay Minish Cap. That was a great game. I don't remember the quest to forge it. There's Wind Waker, you had to make it be whole again. And killed all the dueling peaks. Feel worth of guardians with it. Is that what makes it rusty? Just glitch it. Skew through the wall, then kill the high knocks. What do you mean? <laughs> In the the trials of the You can go through the wall. Is that only for like one level or does that like complete the whole damn thing? Uh now what I'm gonna do. Oh I have one other trial to do here. Oh, I love the frame rate, it's really good. Um, I did it on normal mode, but man, I just, the master mode fighting is really tedious to me, so like, I just, I just hate it. <laughs> Clip through the wall, do it three times. Oh, really? It doesn't complete the whole thing, or is it just like one of the stages, right? Because there's there's three different trials, right? So can you glitch all three? Oh, you, you're Mr. Hero, right? You're gonna do the Korok trial? Yes, yes. I knew it. I'd like to ask you a favor then. My little Oki just now set off to, oh, this one, I love this one. Set off to do the Korok trial. Normally, I'd go along, too, but Oki insists on going alone. I let Oki go, but, well, I'm just getting worried. Could you please follow Oki without being seen? I want to be sure nothing bad happens. Uh, this one's cute. I need to go respect to give me back my stamina, but we'll do that later. 
I don't know if these make a difference, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna be Kakashi. Naruto? What's this? Oh, those are like stealthy things. Look at him, there he is! He's so cute. So this one, the only thing that sucks about this one is if you're like caught, you have to start over. What was that? Everything is A-OK. -okay. Look at him go. He's so excited. It's a little hard to see him because it's misty, unfortunately. That's... I remember this tree. And there's a lot of brush. So he's just going on an adventure through the woods. That's really hard to see him at night. What was that noise? Whose footprints are these? <sighs> Not a con. Uh, I found in middle and final trials it was easier to use bows to get in the first level. Oh, really? So it, it would, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, tr I'll try to look it up. Yeah. See if I can clip through the wall. Cause if it's that easy, I can get like one master, one, one upgrade or whatever. I don't think I'll do the next two though. I don't really, I don't really feel like I did it once. <laughs> I'm good. I just want to, I actually want to play through it. I didn't play this on stream. So I'm wanting to play it on stream before the second one comes out. Um, turn off your cell phone while sneaking. Yeah. Bloop, bloop. It's gonna be great. It's gonna break all. Actually. How do I do that? Uh, there we go. Now we won't get the bloop bloops for a long time. Burb, alright, enjoy your burb. Your burp. Mm. Right in. Colonel. This Korok is dummy thick. Brother! <laughs> God, I need to like rewatch that like. Was it that, what is it, Modern War Gear Solid? Was that it? What was that noise? He's so cute. So he, he's going on his trial. He's going on his adventure. And he's, he's making sure he doesn't get hurt or attacked. Oh, pretty flowers. He's like super easily distracted and stuff. <laughs> He's so cute. He's got his little like stick weapons. He's like, oh, I'm gonna get you. I I have all the Korok voice sound files. I should uh, change Ugh. change one of my notification tones to that. Ah, ghost! Oh, he's running back. He's running back. He's so scared. Look at him shake! Aww. Oh, it was just a shadow.
And I like their little, like, jingle as they run around. This isn't so bad. He's not scared one bit. Okay, I'm a little bit scared. Oh, he's so great. Help me, Mr. Hero. Uh oh. No, he saw me! For fuck's sake. Wait, you're not a ghost? Were you following me? I said I could do this by myself. Okay, now I'm not by myself. I'll have to do it all over again. For fuck's sake. That's the worst part of this. Because I have to start all over again now. Back with the glitch, you just complete the final Hinox of the beginning trials three times. And it unlocks the full Master Sword. Oh. Oh, okay. No, that is worth it. Uh. So you basically trick the game into thinking that you, uh, you did it. Because it just, it just, all that trial is going to do is tack a value on your Master Sword up. It's going to go, oh, you got an increased upgrade. And then when you do it again, it's like, oh, you got an increased upgrade. So, that makes sense. It's a progression item, as it, as it were. Not a progression item, uh, I forget what to call it. In the rando scene. He remembers that tree. Oh, it just checks what trials you started. Uh, so you have to, like, start? I'll have to look up a guide for it. I, I love I love glitching me some stuff. Because um, yeah. that's what I did. You know, I did, a, I did a Wind Waker rando, and I did an Ocarina of Time rando, and I glitched a couple spots. Just, just some basic, like, clipping through shit. Um. I, I love that kind of thing. Oh, enjoy your burb, Angel. One of these days I'm going to do another rando. Um, but I'm... I'll probably do another Wind Waker rando, but I'm going to do, like, a not 100% Whatever, I'll probably do like race settings or I like no step. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Ooh. Rish, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Very much so. Okay, not super hard, not easy either. But if you have any experience, you'll be fine. No, <laughs> the hardest part was beating the Hinox with the box. Yeah, that's gonna be a bit tough without breaking it too. So you just kind of like got to rub them. And Ah, <laughs> uh, ghost. We're okay. He didn't see me. There was one clip I was kept trying to do in uh, Ocarina of Time, and then I looked it up after I got kind of past everything, and I realized I had to do this one glitch. I didn't realize, 
which you have to press like the target thing right as you're climbing up a ledge or something like that and it'll uh um yeah it was easier in middle and final trials because the first Concentrate on this. I don't. The wolves are gonna get him. He's almost there. Wait, did the wolf? What? Well, is the wolf aggroed on me and not him? This could happen. <laughs> what? Okay. There's the shrine. He's so happy. Look at him go. He's like, eat, eat. And then the wolf didn't even attack me. He just kind of howled and he was done. He's like, alright, I'm done. He finally made it! Okay, yeah, that's... that's uh... Yeah, I, fi I made it! I finished the trial! Wow, who's there? Hey, are you that hero guy? You know, Mr. Hero? Guess what, Mr. Hero? I did the trial by myself! Aren't I brave? Oh, yeah, you're probably here for the shrine. Great Deku Tree said that the monk's blessing is waiting in the shrine ahead. Why don't you go take a look? You got it, buddy. Ugh. Easier in the middle and the final trials because the first levels have bows and arrows, which made it easier to kill a high Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so you, you, you can grab some, some weapons and then do your 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 clippy stuff. It's really cool. I'd like to do that at some point. Um, yeah, like I said, I like I like to do some glitches, depending on what exactly I'm trying to do. <laughs> and I've already played this game before, so I don't really feel like I'm gonna cheapen my experience by glitching it again, or again, by glitching through it to complete it again. Especially because I don't, I hate, I hate master mode. Like, I hate the, it's just the whole enemy situation I think is worse and not good. <laughs> not well designed for a difficulty spike. They're just like, oh, damage increase and, uh... The hero called Link. I forgot what this is. Damage increase and regeneration. I think the regeneration happens too fast. All that. The time has come. You are now ready to test the limits of your courage. At the place where you are reunited with the Master Sword and Sacred Fort. Oh, is this, is this the Master Trials? Go there and head to the Deku Tree. Or do so. And glorious trial will be bestowed upon you. Is this is that the Master Trials? Yes, that is. No wonder I don't remember, because that happened when the DLC came out. I already had this done. I look at just darn game breaking, especially if follow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, man, if you're doing another playthrough and you just want to goof off and glitch all day, it's a good time. I always like to do it vanilla the first time, unless I find... Unless I personally find a glitch in my first playthrough. Like, then, you know. As long as it doesn't, like, destroy the gameplay, the game flow or whatever. Then it's fine. Okay, we're not... But... No, I don't want to... Do... I don't want to do this, though. Hmm, what's...
What's this? A voice beckoned you here? I see. So the time has come. I shall now tell you all I know about the arduous trials that awaits you. Ah, uh, so it's that time. You purchased the DLC. That's where you have reunited with the Master Sword. It has yet to realize its true splendor. All right. Yeah, th nice to see you, Rish. Thanks for the follow again. It's good talking to you. Hope you have a good noodle. And also, best of luck to you as well. Stay healthy. Stay alive. This trial shall test your courage to ensure you are worthy of this splendor. It's called the Trial of the Sword. It will challenge you as you have never been challenged before. <laughs> they kill him! All of your weapons and armor will be sealed away. You must face your enemies without the tools you've come to rely on. Remember Eventide. Once you've t tempered your sword and proven your wisdom and courage by completing the Trial of the Sword, the Master Sword shall truly be yours. Hmm, unless my eyes deceive me, you seem quite willing to take on this trial, a hero through and through. Now, Link, place the Master Sword in its pedestal. No! I'm not ready. What's also neat about the Master Sword is you can't throw it, and instead you shoot beams, like the Master Sword does. I hear that like wears down your durability. Oh yeah, and so he said basically if your Master Sword breaks, you have like a timer, and then it. Um, kind of refreshes itself after that. So uh, we're going to now go this direction from here. And we're going to just we're just going to make some progress kind of slowly head towards the uh, head towards the lava zone. The Garons. I need Flint. Beetle's having trouble. Beetle, you sell products. You'd think you'd have warm clothes. What a, what a silly man. Oh, and we need wild berries too. Someone wants wild berries. Oh, we're accidentally completing side quests all over the place. And we're... We, uh, we're not gonna go on foot. Screw that. I got a teleport horse. And one that hopefully doesn't goddamn fall off cliffs. You don't take from your own stash. What, what is it? You don't... Something that rhymes with supply. Isn't there, like, a rhyme? You don't get high on your supplies, is that it? Yeah. Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah. It's bad for you. Unless you... Hi! Did I kill him? Doesn't work for Beetle, or does it? Beetle's high on sales. So, it kind of works with him. 
when he makes a sale. He's like, <laughs> yes. Look, there's a volcano. What are you doing? Don't, don't Skyrim. Not right now. This isn't the time to Skyrim. Oh no, I'm out of hammer, hammery doodles. Maybe Beetle likes the Weedle. Do you think I can break it with this? How many hits do you think it'll take to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of this Tootsie Pop? The Pokemon? He grinds up Weedles and smokes them. Nope, uh, you can't. Doing that again, though. That's what you do in Pokemon Go: is you grind up Pokemon, you catch Pokemon, you give him the prof to the professor, and he's like, "Oh, I mysteriously give you candy." I'm a, I'm a, I'm an asshole. Maybe Beetle likes the Speedle. That's why so happy all the time, and he uh, can carry that big backpack. This this guy. Hello, sir. Bye, sir. You you do not want to fuck with that guy. I think there's a shrine down there, but I know there's a shrine over right here. Oh, don't do this to me. Oh Lord! Yeah. Almost got zapped real bad. Huh. Barricans playing Animal Crossing. Yeah. Barry, you have a problem. So, I don't, should I go in here? Traveler from beyond these woods, you are now faced with a trial. Find the shrine hidden in these dark ruins. Oh, I was like, what is this like face looking at me? It's the horse's ass. So uh, this place is kind of crazy. Um, you can stop whenever you Minecraft with the loans. That's funny. Yeah, you don't have enough freedom. Though you do have like more objects. Furry Harvest Moon. You can't even farm, either. It's like The Sims, but you control the character, like... And you can't control other characters. It's almost like it's its own thing. Uh, you can, you can, I mean, you can plant, like, trees, but you can't, like, farm, right? You can plant a tree, and you can put, like, flowers. I don't remember what the deal is with this place. Like, what do I have to do?
<laughs> you can't, you can't, you really can't figure that out. We're just talking about fruit trees, fruit farm, and weed. No, oh, I mean, you grow a fruit tree and then you just shake the fruit off. I mean, it's not. Right? It's not like in depth farming and stuff like that. You know, it's nothing like Stardew Valley or whatever. You just plant a tree and then it's got fruit on it every day. Uh oh, yo, uh, Smokey. I'm sorry, Smokey. Oh, but I can. Oh no, I was gonna light my fire off of it. God, their little glow is nice. I'm not, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing in here yet. I know there's like a Hinox in one of the places. You think it's weird that you live in a town full of animals, but you can't make your character an animal. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, you could put a duck bill on. It's, it's... It's Do You Like Fucking Furries Simulator. But, like, not actually being a furry yourself. You just like the fuck them. And the answer to that question is... Yes. I do. Oh, what am I talking about? Why am I saying these words? I, I redact everything I just said. Well, look at the mess you made, buddy. All right, come with me, light source. You're here to burn everything down. <laughs> I've made a mess. Is the objective just to get to the center? Like you're, is that a, is that a thinking nut pie? Is that what's going on with that? Or is there more to it than that? <laughs> Everyone know Isabel can take a pounding. She loves it. She can she can do whatever you want to. She could probably be gentle and nice to you, but then also like real rough if you like it that way. She, she basically will satisfy any of the animals that uh, come to her. She, she knows. <laughs> she is a switch. She's on the switch and she is a switch. She was on the switch before, though, so it's not nothing special. What the shit, though? <laughs> Excuse me? Why would you, Link? Why would you put away? It's like there's no way I can kick this chest open with a torch in my hand. How would I... That's where I came in, by the way. I just... Whoa. 
Is that a blood moon? That's a blood moon. A blood moon rises once again, folks. Oh, yeah, you can see it in the air now. Alright. Do your worst. Clearing garbage from from Ram Link. You've got too many unreferenced pointers, Link. Do I have to climb over this? Oh yeah, I guess I guess. Dude, fuck off, man. I still hear him batting about. So, can I steal this off of him without waking him up? Is that, can I do that? I know you can do that with weapons and stuff. Can I eat a stealth thing? I don't, I don't own a stealth food. Can I eat like a like one of those swift flowers? Eat. Just shove the flower down your gullet. All right. Even though I don't know what I'm doing. We've got at least a little bit of light. Sitting cozy in his hand. He didn't even notice. <laughs> It was really hard to see, but if you don't know what was happening there, there was a high knock sleeping on his back. His arm was hanging out on the ground. He, I stood in his hand, and he went to go scratch his belly, so he lifted me up onto his belly while he was going to scratch it. And I grabbed the shit off of his chest. I said, this is really gross. I'll help you out here, buddy. Hut, hut, hut. 
very hard to see though, because the game like no. You must do trial. This really has become like a stealth run of the game. Or not like a stealth run, but like a don't kill that many things. Well, unless it's passive and then run it over with your horse. Or if wolves are trying to fuck me. I don't appreciate it, wolves. 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 Do they teleport me out of the zone? I really hope so. Teleport to Zelda Horror, for fuck's sake. Uh... I could have probably tried to run out easily, but no, we're just gonna we're just gonna ride the horse. It didn't take us very long to get there. We'll just ride the horse a little bit more. Find another shrine, probably. Oh, that means I can pierce it all the way down the body. Yum, yum. We might be doing that in Monster Hunter tomorrow. Piercing people down the body. Probably not, though. Unless we use the light bow gun. Out of out of all that shenanigans in that dark place, I only took a half heart for a bow. Even then I don't hear something down the body usually. I never use the dragon piercer. No, I think well we were talking about Colve. Probably. So it could have been anything. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> Fuck's your problem. The dragon piercer is so fun. It's, uh, it's kind of fun. But I just think about my deeps and how it's like really not good on deeps. I don't know if it's gotten better though with the patch. I need to start looking up like. No, it's really, it's really, yeah. No, I, I get that. For me though, I really, my favorite part of the bow is the, uh, is the, dr the drift shoots. Do a drift, do a shoot. So like, I just forget about Dragon Piercer. Cause I'm drifting around. I'm like, yeah, this is great. Dodging shit. It's not really iframes, right? It's just dodging with a rolled. The drift shoots. Yeah, I love the drift shoots. I feel so cool. Right Especially when, like, I, I drift and don't shoot, right? You just drift to dodge an attack. I'm like, yeah, look at how cool I am. I predicted your ass. Get your ass going. When I smack your ass, that means go faster, not complain. Whoa, you're doing shit. Murder him, yeah! I should do. Look, 
Look out, there's a murder horse on the loose. Look out. Ah! Oh, <laughs> Shit! No wonder you you're getting pissed off. You, your eyeballs are gone. Yeah. They moved your eyeballs to your neck. Killed that bird. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's like this, this is my yeah. open area. Oh, he's got a hammer too. He's a meanie. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna be a dick, isn't he? All the glowy things are his eyeballs now. He's got eyeballs on his ass. That's weird. There's a shrine over here, isn't there? There's like the big, the big skeleton and then the shrine. <laughs> now looking at its butt, it kind of like looks like this weird creature that only has like two legs. And he's got like, for some reason, like like a nose that has a really long hair coming out like a crazy weird surrounding nose mustache he's just bobbing <laughs> where's my brain uh, all the ostriches emus ow Nothing can sneak up on him now. He won't get kicky. There's so many Lionels over here. You guys need to not be so angry all the time. Play don't fuck with those guys, they'll just explode. First, I need to take a picture of this. If I can. Does this count? Those other, those other leviathan bones I didn't get, unfortunately. I thought there was a shrine over here, but I guess not. I think that one counts. There's not, there's not a shrine over here. Why isn't there a shrine over here? Horse. He's not able to come. Oh, because she's a girl. What the fuck is your shit, dude? Are you... Oh, it's because those things are covering its ears. Are you a dumb... Be my friend. Eat it. Eat it, you shit. There you go. I love talking to animals, like, really mean, but like... You say mean words, but you do it in like a, like a happy tone. And they get super excited, you're like, look at you, you little piece of shit. And they're just like, ha, 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 what? Man, if they were if they were children, they'd be fucked up by now. Ha. 
room. There's some rocks over here, and I don't have a... I don't have a breaky tool. I should be wearing my Korok mask. So I can get shakes whenever there's Korok nearby. And the cute voice. Okay. Got it. Uh, this one's got... Right here? Is it this one? So cute. I like the slimes in this game too. They're just rolling around. The, the chews. The little, little pebble guys. I love how the pebble guys run. Oh my god. You guys. I forgot about these guys. Boop. Definitely need to put away this sword. It's getting a little too hot. There's like no shrines back here. It's not what I meant to do. God damn it. Hi, right, buddies. Oh, you almost got me. Good try, though. Oh yeah, this place I need elixirs now. Oop, oop, shrine nearby. Is this is this one in the volcano though? Am I like close enough to the volcano? It's really, it's really close. It seems. Oh look. Ah uh, yeah, okay, I'm here. No, that's good. This is where I want to be. Rock. But oh, there he is. Look at the look, look at the divine beast hanging out up there. Look at him walk around. He's so cool. Oh my. There's a Korok right here, watch. See? 
Duh. These all dry climbing around the mountain. Having a good time up there. Hi, buddy. Pump it up, brother. By the gods, I love me some muscle. This right here is our hardcore training ground, String Bean. This is where we come to get ripped and shredded. It's where Goron boys become Goron men, brother. And Goron brothers become Goron big brothers. Now, please move. I ain't moving a muscle, brother. Not a single well defined muscle. This is a special platform. Sacred even. Only real Goron men as decided by us three Goron blood brothers are allowed. Besides, my littlest bro is in the middle of training right now. Our brother does not interrupt a brother's training, brother. But I gotta say, you do seem like a real man of action. Almost like you have a Goron air about you. I like it. So what are you waiting for, brother? Get training. Yeah, that's it. If you can clear our hardcore training program, I'll move out of your way. Count me in, brother. Ha, good answer, brother. We're going to shred you to pieces, little man. Prepare your tiny self. Okay, let me explain how hardcore training works. The rules are dead simple. Simple as a deadlift, brother. Start from the bottom. You gotta climb back here within the time limit. But, don't fool yourself into thinking it's only a climbing challenge, little man. You gotta pick up rupees as you go. Get a cliff within the time limit and grab a passable number of rupees. Do that and you pass the test. If you run out of time or decide to give up halfway through your climb, you gotta... You'll have to return all the rupees you picked up. That's life, brother. We're gonna help you push past your limits, brother. Your physical, mental, and emotional limits. Okay, enough messing around. It's time for your hardest of hardcore feats. Gut check challenge. Imagining him as either Hulk Hogan or Randy Savage or both. Yeah, he really, he really is both. He's got that property. Almost forgot a tiny detail, tiny man. No train, no gain. And no pay, no stay. So, he, yeah. It's 20 rubies per attempt. <laughs> you want some of this, brother? I like how he, like, doesn't move. But, like, why can't I just walk over there and just scan the thing anyway? Who cares? Sure, let's do this thing. You gotta collect 100 rupees as you climb. Our Goron man should be able to handle that. No problem. Even if you reach the goal before your time runs out, you don't. If you don't grab enough rupees, you fail. Don't fail, brother. You got that? Good. Then it's finally time for Gut Check Challenge. Go. Okay. You got it, buddy. I feel if I jumped, they'll f they give us so much of a time limit. Whoop, whoop, whoop. This obviously would be a lot easier if I had more stamina. I kind of wish I would have respect before this, but whatever. I've got a good amount for this. This is, this is not bad. <laughs> yeah, what a... But it's, it's fine. See? We did it.
Go! That was glorious. Nice going, brother. Now let's see how many rupees you scored. Looks like you got 127 rupees. Unbelievable. You passed our training with grit and true of a true Goron, my brother. In fact, you've earned the right to call yourself the fourth Goron blood brother, brother, brother. As promised, you are now allowed to stand on the sacred platform of Goron manliness. A real honor, I know. You're officially one of us now, our true Goron brother, brother. Welcome to the family, brother, 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 brother. And good news, fourth brother. That means you can do the gut check challenge all you want. As a Goron blood brother, you're ready for the hard stuff. Just let me know when you're pumped enough to try it. Brother. Try Black Star plus one. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't get it. This better just be like a give me a thing shrine. It is, okay. Goraitor's blessing. Never seen Gundam? <laughs> no. You would think a person who has made like almost 40 model kits and most of them Gundam that I would have seen Gundam. But no. So I saw G Gundam back in the day. Don't really remember much from it besides they like stick the suit on him, you know, they and then he's got shining finger. Um and there was like countries or something. Like Mexico had a Gundam and it had like a sombrero, if I remember right. Um But uh I, I saw Gundam wing back when I was like really young and I don't remember anything from it. And then Sombrero Gundam, best Gundam. Yeah. Yeah, fake fan. I have seen uh, so I saw Gundam Build fighters try, but I don't remember anything from it at all. <laughs> it was like one of those like mindless animes that I just kind of put on while I did other stuff. And I remember there was like hype moments, and I remember there was a school like tournament, but like I couldn't, I couldn't tell you anything specific from it. <laughs> Sometimes I like to put on some mindless animes when I'm uh, doing other stuff. If that if that obviously makes sense to people, but oh, look at ooh, look at those polygons. Hopefully they improve their uh, looking into the distance stuff for the next game. But uh, that place is very important. We'll probably head there tomorrow. I'll probably do that shrine. Um, there's another shrine, I think, down below. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I know there's a shrine out in the water somewhere? I don't know, there's one out there somewhere. And I think that one gives you a teleporty doodle. If you do another doodle within the doodle. So I need to do that. And I don't I don't remember that either. I just don't I get, oh that's off the map. No matter I don't remember it. It's crazy, because that, that over there is like off the map. 
That's just all wilderness that you can't explore. But man, it'd be so cool if there was something out there. I really hope for that for the next game. Give me a new region, please. Give me Johto. There's our sexy Link. 